Hello friends, it's me, Kayla. I'm here today to talk to you about the second year of the buzzword reading challenge thing. I said second year and then I was like, but it's been running for longer. So to recap, in case you need it, um, I used to run a readathon that happened a couple times a year. Basically, I would pick a word that occurred in book titles a lot and then we would spend a week reading all the books we had with that word in the title. Then I realized I don't like running readathons, so I turned it into like a reading challenge and something that happens every single month and therefore all year long, but I don't participate myself. I just provide the words. You vote on words, I take suggestions, and then I put them in a little graphic and I send it out into the world. There is a Goodreads group for it where you can see all of the words and you can also like suggest books that other people can read, give recommendations, build your TBR and like share it with people. I also make a little challenge on Storygraph so everything will be linked down below. I'm actually gonna go through last year's first just because this will be a really quick video and I've had some people ask me like if I've participated and if I've read the words and how I'm doing with it. So we're gonna run through them and just see if I have hit all of the buzzwords. I also post on Instagram every single month like a stack of books that fit that buzzword just for fun. So in January, it was dream. I didn't read like what I set out to read. Basically, you can do this readathon or reading challenge however you want. I assign the first seven days of the month as a readathon. Some people do it as a readathon. So the first seven days of every month, they read books with dream for January 1st to 7th last year. And they'll share their thoughts and whatever, whatever. Or they will take it as a reading challenge so every single month there's just a different word and if you read a book with dream in the title for january like you win you did it so none of mine are going to be in the month probably associated but i just want to see if i hit all the words at some point in the year so dream i did read like in my dreams i hold a knife i also read um the disordered cosmos which has the word dream in the title somewhere. February was color, and I've definitely read books with colors in the title. I think whites, let's just go with whites. I'm gonna take that off. Um, in March, it was time. And again, the disordered cosmos has something about time in it. I also read, reread Love Beyond Body, Space and Time this year. In April, it was space words, and I really haven't read that many books with space words in the title. So this could be like planet, star, whatever. So I'm gonna put Cosmos. So I'll actually count Cosmos for the April challenge. Uh, May, it was home. Uh, at some point this year, I read House of Hollow, and I also read The Last House on Needless Street, and I also read House in the Cerulean Sea. In June, it was names and titles, so it could be like husband, king, whatever. I read The Echo Wife, so I'm gonna count that. In July, the word was last. This is one I definitely did in that month because in the original announcement, I was like, we can all read one last stop together. And then I did. I think I read a couple other ones too, like um, things have gotten worse since the last time we spoke comes to mind. And the last house on Needless Street again. In August, it was a time of day. And I picked that one specifically because I knew we'd be reading Survive the Night for the book club. And we did, so night. September was dark and I read The Dead in the Dark. I might have actually read it in that month. Um, also, Disordered Cosmos has dark in the title. And then the other Eric, Eric LaRocca says something about, I don't know, there's something about dark stories, I think. Next up is October, and I read Firekeeper's Daughter. Elements was the theme, and it could be anything, like water, water-related words, air, or air related words. In November, I did Lost because I wanted to read The Lost Ones by Sheena Kamal with all of you, but I ended up bumping that in the book club earlier in the year, but we're gonna count it for the November one. And then December, which is next month, hasn't happened yet, so you still have time. Um, it's a day of the year, a day, a week of the month. No, wait, a week, <laughs> a week? How would you read a week? The point is like a Monday, Wednesday, or like a, fall, winter, summer, October, January, that kind of thing. Wow. I read the summer of everything this summer, so we're gonna count that. So I did it, kind of. 
Now on to 2022. Uh, the way that I picked these words, and it's running the exact same way. You can do it as a reading challenge, one a month, or you can read as many as you want in that given month or in that given week, however you want to do it. I've told people before, I'm not policing this readathon at all. If you are asking the question, does this count? Sure, probably. You do you. This is just supposed to be fun. So I picked these words based on ones that didn't get selected last time, ones that almost got selected but didn't quite make it, didn't quite get enough votes, or from various suggestions. I think there's one that I just picked because I thought it'd be fun. Okay, to begin, January, we are bringing it back to the classic days of the Buzzword Readathon, one of the original ones that I did when this was a specific readathon in the year um is who what why where who <laughs> fuck who where no who where why when and how <laughs> no i don't have my phone or i would pull up an example you know what i'm saying who where why when what and how was that all of them an example would be this is how you lose the time war or when when the reckoning comes i'm gonna read where the drowned girls go one of my favorite thrillers is where they found her and i also really want to read what should be wild moving on to february it's i don't know how to describe this one but i'm calling it the me and you theme because it's like february valentine's day but it also encompasses beyond just me and you it can be mine yours he, she, her, their, they, we, like anything in this universe of words. I know some of them are pronouns, but they're not all pronouns, so I can't call it the pronoun theme. If there's grammar smart people, if there's a word for this type of word, let me know. So you could read Watch Over Me, which I highly recommend. We Ride Upon Sticks, which I highly recommend. Things Have Gotten Worse Since We Last Spoke highly recommend. Ooh, they never learn. Highly recommend. I didn't mean to pick books that I love, but it just happened. For March, we're doing locations. So you can make this stretch however you want, but my initial thought was like cities, countries, Washington, there's a location, a state. But if you don't have anything like that, like I'm going to read The Paris Apartment. I hope you'll read with me. But like, if you wanna say Valley is a location, you can do that. Valley Girls, highly recommend. Okay, April, we are doing words like big, little, small, large, like size, size words. I was gonna say adjectives, but it's not just any adjective. For example, a very large, large, expansive sea, big, little lies, hitting the words twice tiny pretty things would be a good one uh, maybe i will read the long way to a small angry planet and my number one recommendation dress codes for small towns there's a mystery that just recently came out called like all her little secrets or something like that it doesn't have to be small or large those are just the ones that came to mind i guess you could also use medium okay moving on to may what's may may is directions i got this uh suggested and i thought it was so fun so you can do north south east west um exit west for example would be a good one but you can also make it like up down left right it can also be part of a word it doesn't have to be the whole thing so southern book club's guide for slaying vampires my notes say down mountain so I obviously have a book, probably on my TBR, something about going down a mountain. Oh no, wait, that one's right here. This one, I love this book, When the Tiger Came Down the Mountain. Great, let's move on to June. June is the one that I picked that I think might be a bit of a challenge, but I love a challenge. Last year, we did it where half of the prompts were a theme, so like directions, but then half of the prompts were just one singular word, and those were obviously more challenging to find. Um, so this time, most of them are themes where you can pick your own word. But this one, I find that the word all is in so many book titles right now. So I want you to see if you can find a book that has all in the title. So we've got all's well. I love all these beautiful strangers. I also want to read This Is All Your Fault, so maybe I'll try to read that. Ooh, also Ophelia After All comes out. 
probably like that month or right around that time next year if you want to use that one suggestions in the comments below would be super duper super duper july we're doing book related words so you can do like the book of accidents you can do the book thief i have so many books like this um the book of joan the book of ivy the book of swords mr penumbra's 24-hour bookstore but then you could also do any words i didn't grab any examples oh here's one girls of paper and fire paper would be a fine one let me pull that out um also i don't know where the midnight library is library library librarian paper pages spine anything related to books you can you can make work okay let's move on to where are we at august august is oh items so like you should see me in a crown um the house on mango street any item you can think of door key tree blanket whatever okay september just like we had a theme that was big and little for september our theme is light and darkness so those specific words like you can read the darkness outside us which i know i need to get to you can read the dead in the dark i don't know if i have any books that i can think of with the word light in them the light between oceans um but also like anything related to light and darkness so the shadows the shadow of the wind a 2022 release uh these fleeting shadows would be a good one also that cosmos book that i talked about that has a lot of words in the title including dark dark matter okay moving on to october it is the spooky season so we're doing creatures and animals so any type of fantastical creature from like witches to mermaids to beasts but then if you don't read those types of books maybe just an animal would work for you so tell the wolves perhaps monkey beach would appeal to you so that's october november oh november is words that end in ing so we're talking watching when no one is watching we're talking missing local woman missing swimming talking running existing haunting is there a good book with haunting in it because maybe i should read that for november i know there's a haunting of hill house there's an example i've read that or outside of descriptive words darling you know maybe you'll find something with a some type of name in it and lastly for december is another classic we originally did this i don't remember if it was the first last word we found i don't really remember but it is numbers so eight perfect murders i was thinking 10 blind dates is a cute christmasy one that you should read in december uh you can do like numbers one to ten or obviously any other number like thousand million this is a thousand beginnings and endings an anthology i love the wild ones that's a number one of my favorite books this year i think there's a book coming out next year with million in the title from adipa jagadar oh here's another one ones the beautiful ones ten thousand dollars of january a million junes and yeah that's it those are all of the prompts for 2022 let me know what your tbr is going to be build it in the comments let me know what first comes to mind or any recommendations you have i would love to hear what you're thinking of reading or what you think other people should read and that's it. I will link everything you need down below and I will see you later. Thank you so much for watching and participating in this reading challenge. Bye.